The third place of worship is the temple within the body, which I call the Atma Mandira. My Paramaguru Yoga Swami of Jaffna, Sri Lanka said, God lives in this house built of earth, water, fire, air, and ether. Therefore, keep the house clean and the mind pure and conduct yourself with calmness. His disciple Markandu Swami recounted his Guru's instructions when he told us, Yoga Swami said, leave your relations downstairs, your will, your intellect, your senses. Leave the fellows and go upstairs by yourself and find out who you are. Then you can go downstairs and be with the fellows. Yoga Swami was describing the internal form of worship, meditation in the sacred chamber of the soul, wherein we quiet our physical body, still our astral and mental bodies, become centered in our immortal spiritual body of light, and strive for, discover, near and ultimately merge with God within. Through meditation, we temporarily set aside our mundane concerns and experience our refined spiritual nature that is always serene and centered, the source of intuition, solace, and strength for all our activities. Consistent practice of meditation has the power to increase our concentration, observation, understanding, compassion, appreciation, cooperation, mental acuity, emotional stability, willpower, and our ability to see God in all things and all people. God abides in all three of these temples. In the community temple, he is worshipped in elaborate formal ways, mystical ways that bring his shakti or power into the inner chamber to bless the world. In the home shrine, he is worshipped in simple loving ways, which bring his presence into the home to guide the family through karma's sometimes difficult passages and bless their pursuits. In the chamber of the heart, he is worshipped as the life of life, as the self of ourself, to awaken peace of mind, insight, inspiration, and enlightenment. The three temples stand as a central pillar of Hindu life. Successful worship in the three temples over many lifetimes culminates in jnana, divine wisdom, which we see in an enlightened being, a soul in its maturity immersed in the blessed realization of God while living out earthly karma. In verse 1444 of the ancient yogic text, Tirumandaram, Rishi Tirumular sums up our thoughts. Being the life of life is splendorous jnana worship, achieving jnana. Beholding the light of life is great yoga worship, meditation. Giving life by invocation is external worship, performing puja. Expressing adoration is charya, attending puja. As you see, our experiences of the three temples of Hinduism is an ancient one that survives in the 21st century.